In this video tutorial, we will create a, a thick cylindrical pressure vessel model in three dimensions using ANSYS uh, Workbench Mechanical. So, under Project Schematic, we'll add our static structural tool and we'll start editing the geometry using a design modeler. We'll leave the analysis type as 3D for this case. So we'll start new design modeler geometry and as in the previous um, two-dimensional case we'll start by uh, selecting the XY plane. So we'll view the plane from the front and go to the sketching and also change our units to millimeters for convenience. We'll again create a cross section which is simply defined by two arcs and two lines so point constraint and arc 1 and the second arc defining the inside and outside surfaces and the lines that are defining the symmetry surfaces so this is a, a quarter uh, symmetric view of the um, a thick cylinder uh, problem. We'll need to create dimensions, add our radii, say for the inside and the outside surfaces. For the inside it's going to be 100 and for the outside it's going to be 200 meters. We'll fit view to see this geometry and um, we can go back to our modeling tab and then see that the sketch is shown here. So um, rather than create um, a concept of surfaces from sketches, in this case we'll create an extrusion based on this sketch to create a, a volume. So we'll click on the extrude button and we'll need to define what geometry that is going to be and we can click on the sketch and apply and when we click on generate it will create our volume. Uh, by default it selects a certain depth for the extrusion. We can change it to uh, what value we need. So let's say 40 millimeters. So if we click on generate again that's our geometry defined as a 3D volume. So effectively that's what we need to move to mechanical and then mesh with some solid elements. So we can save our model and then uh, move to uh, mechanical. In the workbench project schematic we can start editing the mechanical model and that starts mechanical and reads the design modeler geometry and attaches to the mechanical uh, solid model. So that's the mechanical just started and that's the volume that is attached uh, from design modeler. Now we need to look at the solid and check the material assigned. If you want we can add other materials and then assign different uh, properties. So if we um, check the mesh first of all we need to define our sizing again. So for the volume these are our filters, a vertex filter, edge filter, surface or face filter and this is a body filter so let's select body filter and we'll apply the um, sizing onto this body and let's say give an element size of um, 20 millimeters just to get a, a coarse mesh initially. So that's body sizing done but we need to still mesh this so we need to click generate and the meshing is done and we 
can move on to static structural analysis and define our uh, boundary conditions. So for the boundary conditions to simplify um, the plane strain type geometry um, we need to make sure that these surfaces are symmetric and these surfaces are also constrained in Z direction and therefore we can simply um, look at applying frictionless onto these surfaces select these two and then click on apply so these are frictionless and we can also do say fix this surface and then apply a displacement in Z of 0 and we can also say fix this surface similarly Z value of 0 so that is a slice of the cylinder that uh, we are modeling and if we click on static structural we can see that um, displacements and the frictionless boundary conditions are applied as illustrated here. Next we will need to apply an internal pressure so we can select the inside surface and click on pressure and define the magnitude in this case just one megapascal essentially a unit load applied here and in terms of the solution and the results we want to see total deformation and stresses like equivalent stress, maximum principle, minimum principle and also the middle principle. And with these boundary conditions and the results items defined we can click on solve and that should solve fairly quickly and we can click on total deformation and see that similarity to our 2D model it's only a mi one micron effectively movement on the inside face. Equivalent stress is about 2.3 megapascals on the inside surface. Maximum principal stress is also the highest on the inside face. Minimum principal is similarly uh, with the internal pressure minus one megapascals on the inside face and zero on the outside face and the middle principle is the stresses in the Z direction that's because we have constrained this vessel not to move or um, not to expand in the Z direction so these are essentially um, the results similar or very close to the two-dimensional case we have studied before so this concludes the 3D thick cylinder pressure vessel analysis using workbench mechanical.